I'll take the lead. Defense posture. Here comes the red. I see you can't do it. This is your only chance to defeat it. It returned to the nest. It might The graveyard in the front is obviously its nest. <coughs> oh, okay, no more talking. You're too hurt. First, let's take some sort no. of... <coughs> you must get it. Go on. Hurry. I gave you this opportunity. <coughs> Don't waste it. I knew it. You smell like a Vulcanian. Vulcan? Come on, snap out of it! Master of... No! Sansa! Sansa! What a relief. She's still breathing, but she's unconscious. We'll get rid of that beast in no time and return. Then, we take Sansa to Todberg! Master of the book, was the prophecy true? Her life is at stake. No, this is an order. We can't approach anyone what? in the kingdom. She's dying, and we just pretend not to notice? That's not chivalric, or righteous either. But we must follow the order of the Grand Master. We have to follow the spirit of justice inside. That's what... Ah. <sighs> Following the will of the goddess with the power. The blood is still fresh. It's here. It has to be. I'll take the lead. Here 
comes the red... Yanko, I'll help! The best technician in planet. Don't come closer. Here comes the red. The pillar of seed. You must get ready. I'll take the lead. Yanko, I'll help. Yanko's the best technician in planet. I see you can't do it without me. I dazzling! Yanko, I'll help! I'll take the lead, firmly. Here comes the red... didn't injure it. We might have been the victims. It was a dangerous enemy. What did you just pick up? I've never seen it before. It's also in Veda's memory. It's a relic condensed with the power of the Knights of Veda, who were sacrificed by this beast. Once you equip this relic, the original owner's power will empower you, even after death. The Knights of Veda leave their power behind. Of course, this also goes for the beast that absorbed it. Oh yeah! Sansa! Let's go to Sansa immediately! Hurry! She's in danger! Where's Sansa? Oh no! Sansa's gone! If what you said is true, the real beast has started to reappear. The real beast? It is a variant that has existed since ancient times. It is said that they were born from giants in the Era of Darkness. The creatures were against Veda from early times. Whenever a new, impious King of Darkness ascended to the throne, they served him. The King of Darkness? A new King of Darkness? Some call him the unrivaled King that rules over humans and beasts. Wearing others call him... The revival of the evil giant. Unrivaled king? Monarch of the giants? Oh, too many names! It is said that the beasts praise the unrivaled king's birth, even before he descends. Is that why the beast appeared? The world will be more chaotic due to the beast's appearance. Did you say the white-haired female knight was chasing... And she said she was a Vulcanian... Yes! Even though she was hurt, 
It's just she that? worries me. Jeez. Volcanians are a tribe of mighty warriors. They are said to have mystical power. A mystical power? And with the mystical power, they have hunted the beasts until now. Power to hunt beasts. Either to rule over or transform into Legend a Legend says they claim they are family with the beasts, but it might be misinformed. Jaya Berhard, the current missing queen of Nidoram, is also a Vulcanian descendant. Do the queen and Sansa come from the same place? But Vulcan perished and no longer exists. Perished? It was a small kingdom. But it is said that it was completely destroyed overnight due to an unidentifiable disaster. And that all Vulcanians in the kingdom were slaughtered. Vulcan? But how? I don't know. Perhaps another country attacked. Being a small kingdom, Vulcan chose arranged marriage with Magnus as a measure to survive among powerful nations. But Magnus failed to protect Vulcan. Any survivors? Fortunately, there are some, and a few abroad survived. Sansar is one of them. Wait! Aren't you forgetting something? You said you'd tell us about Veda's heart, remember? Veda's fragments each symbolize a different book of power. You'll know some, like Pontiff Zeke of Arya, Emperor Zenon Tyus, or... But most other books, including the Book of Life, symbolizing Veda's heart, are missing. You'll already know, but the messenger delivered the Lloyd Papal Court's letter across the sea. The content of the letter will perhaps be a clue. There were astonishing requests in the letter. Well, they were practically commands in disguise of requests. What did it say? Please check whether the premonition is true and secure the Son of Darkness. What does that mean? Before Magnus held the supremacy of the continent, he learned about his future from the Witches of Prophecy. The most talked about part is that Magnus's son would be the king of Black Feathers, but eventually the Black Feathers would fall out and he would transform into a bird of light. The papal court thought even though Edward was Magnus's son, he would eventually become the Apostle of Light and their strongest weapon. If the premonition is true, Edward will most definitely be alive. Edward? What? Edward is Magnus's son! What a surprise! I thought everyone knew. Edward is the son of Queen Jaya and King Magnus. You didn't know that. When the king started to go crazy, the queen sent her son to someplace safe. Everyone thought he was missing, but he went across the sea to Arya. The papal court was the mastermind of the prince's escape. Back then in Arya, war was in full swing among five kingdoms, which persisted for a century. The Lloyd Papal Court and the Emperor Zenon's Titan's Empire were allies. Edward emerged as a hero who unified Arya as the spearhead of the Emperor-led army. But everyone knows this story. If you're a Knight of Tumelm, Edward's faithful follower, and a member of the elite troops, you definitely know. I can't remember. Please understand that people from Planis and Arya are not on good terms. Once, Magnus drove away the darkness from this land and had hegemony over the Planis continent. He was a mighty king who re-established the kingdom of Nidrum, the first dynasty of Planis. It's only natural Aryans would desire Planis, where darkness no longer fell. However, they wouldn't dare reveal their ambitions in fear of great King Magnus, the master of the Book of Death empowered with the power of blood. But Edward couldn't forgive his father, who plagued the nation in a frenzy and made him and his mother miserable. The place where Magnus and Edward collided most definitely has answers. So, go to Giganfall, the great castle of Magnus and capital of the kingdom of Nidrum. Go there again? We have no choice for now. All we can do is check the Tree of Death, which grew on the night of the tragedy. 
There's only one way to go from Todberg to Gigantfall. Pass the Black Forest, cross the nightmarish graveyard. Keep going east and you'll find Gigantfall. The path will be bumpy and tough, so be prepared. If you need anything, ask Todberg for help. Gigantfall. My faithful sword. How amazing you eliminated the beast in that condition. Great, as always. We haven't yet found your heart. But I think Finnar will figure something out! <laughs> Let destiny guide you, and you'll definitely find my heart there. Since you've slashed the beast, you'll be able to take on tougher levels in Nightmare, don't you think? Tougher levels? From now on, you can challenge against tougher nightmares. Tougher nightmares? That's right. You've grown more as the master of the book. That means you're qualified to challenge against tougher nightmares. And whenever you kill stronger beasts, new challenges will unfold. Isn't that too dangerous? That might kill my minion number one. Don't worry about that, because tougher challenges bring bigger rewards. Oh, then that's a different story. Bigger rewards? Great! Come on, let's take the challenge! No need to push too much. You can take the challenge anytime. On and on, even after failure. Haha, <laughs> failure? Failure is not an option for my minion number one! Isn't that right? I have to try to find out. I'll take the lead! 